all right guys so we have a lot to talk about in a little bit of time i'm gonna try to keep this video under 12 minutes uh so pray for me on that um i'm not gonna talk about a lot of the I'm not gonna call it irrelevant stuff just some of the lesser hype things that are coming to jp by the time you guys see in this video the banner will already be up on jp so some uh most of this stuff some of the stuff i'm confused on will probably already have better clarification on it but we're gonna try to struggle through this anyway now first of all big shout out to the homie gaming with talent for the translations um i'm gonna try not to pull them up on the screen that much i might refer to them here and there when i need clarification but like i said guys by the time you see this video everything will already be up on jp so without further ado let's just hop straight into it now first of all uh let's talk about this goku for a second this is the goku that awakens into the lr uh, super saiyan 3 goku that you all are here to hear about today so now this goku looks familiar definitely because he was a strength uh, unit that was on the super vegeta event now this this unit what well not this unit in particular but that unit is very very old um i think super vegeto is about a year and a half old now guys if i'm not mistaken pretty sure he came out like last last summer or something like that i'm not sure guys i'm sure somebody will correct me down in the comment section below but yeah not gonna go into his stats and everything like that because if all we really care about is the lr form of this card um i can definitely show off the card art though because especially his tur form this is pretty dope i do like this card art um the thing that i like about this card art i just like his stance you know this this stance right here i don't know it's something about it just it I don't know guys i don't know brings back memories of dragon ball z so that being said on to the kid trunks now this new kid trunks he's actually not bad guys like i said we're gonna try to struggle through a lot of these translations on our own without having to refer to talent too much but i would definitely link his tweet down in the description box below so make sure you go follow him on twitter guys uh subscribe to his channel this that and the third so kid trunks raises a uh, tech type uh hp attack and defense by 40 percent his SA, I'm guessing uh, ultra oversized damage is immense damage. It might be extreme, but I'm pretty sure it's immense damage. Could be wrong about that. Correct me if I'm wrong. And no status ailments. His passive skill, um, when using super attack, he raises attack by 50% and medium chance to get his Kaishin. Now, this is where I kind of have to refer to Talon a little bit. Um, and even he's not too clear on what this means exactly. Now, what he means by best hit, uh, he, he says, he states that it's not a one hit KO, guys. So it's not a one hit KO. He's not really sure what it means. I'm going to assume that it might be a crit, uh, a built in crit in his passive, which is kind of far fetched uh, to begin with. But that's the best we can kind of um, decipher from this at this moment. Now, like I said, once everything comes out on JP, we'll probably have more clarification on this stuff. But right now, we kind of have to go off of, you know, just assumptions and all that. So his link skills definitely aren't too bad, guys. He's rocking Innocence, um, Rich which is money 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 uh tenkaichi budokai winner which is the tournament link um precise assist which i actually don't know what this is hold on uh this attack 10 percent up and defense 50 percent down attack the enemy so i think this buffs you i think this buffs your attack by 10 percent and debuffs enemy defense by 15 percent. that's what it looks like and from the looks of this there's a lot of free to play and lower tier units with this link. Huh, that's interesting. I hope they add more units. Um, I hope they add this link to more units in the future because that's actually pretty dope. Um, I think that's new. I'm pretty sure that's new, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's pretty dope. I've never seen that before. Um, King of Lineage and Z Warrior. So like I said, this Trunks isn't bad at all, guys. Trunks is not bad at all. I'm pretty sure, now like I said, when this video does come out, the banner will have already been up for a few hours, but I'm pretty sure most of these units, if not all of them, will be on the new banner, aside from the farmable Tapion that we'll get to in a few minutes. So like I said, other than that, I'm pretty sure everything else will be on that Tapion banner, including the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So on to the next unit, the AGL Tapion, well actually, we don't need, it. We don't need to see his um, SSR form. So he is the giant category leader, so he gives uh, three key and 150% attack, uh, HP attack and defense to giants, which that be great apes and uh, things of that nature. And he gives, if I'm reading this correctly, now this is this is off of Talon's translations. He gives anyone who turns big, be that great ape and such, extra time to do so. So I'm assuming that means you get an extra turn to be a great ape. If I'm deciphering that correctly, now like I said, I could be wrong about that, but the translations are kind of wonky on here. And um, Talon's doing the best he can, guys, so big shout out to him again for that. Now his essay, 
Brave Sword attack the other party to give transcendent oversized damage. Oh, so maybe transcendence oversight damage is immense damage. Okay, that would make more sense. I don't see that Trunks doing immense damage. So I'm going to assume that that's extreme and this is immense. Well, maybe that's supreme and this is immense and reduces the attack. So that's pretty cool. Now his passive skill is where it kind of gets, kind of gets pretty shaky. He mitigates damage by 50% when HP is 50% or below. Attack plus 150% and defense plus 50% and once a match obviously this is where his transformation comes in where he turns grade 8 and his link skills are also pretty interesting too guys now this guy and all the other tapions on this list they're all rocking the resurrected warriors link so that means they can all be ran under the a not the agl golden frieza the um angel golden frieza so he is rocking brainiacs a hero experienced fighters precise assist which is that new link again guys resurrected warriors fierce battle and huge which i think that's prepared for battle okay so now i might be wrong about that guys like i said these translations are a little bit wonky but we're gonna do the best we can now that is your new category leader guys we're not gonna spend too much time on any of these units in particular until we get to goku i'm gonna try to fly through these guys next is going to be the drop unit the drop tapion that you get from the story event that's coming so he's not too bad himself guys he is rocking uh, via leader skill, physical type, key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%. His SA lowers attack, guys, so that's pretty cool. Um, passive skill, he buffs his own attack by 40%, and if his HP is 80% or above, he debuffs extremes, attack and defense by 20%. So that's something to keep in mind as well, keep in mind as well, guys. He's rocking courage. I don't want to butcher any of these links, guys, so I'm just gonna read them as they are, as you see them on the page right here. He's rocking courage, brain faction, hero. Veteran Warrior, which I know that one is experienced fighters, precise assist, and resurrected warriors. Not a not bad for a drop unit, guys. Definitely not bad for a drop unit. Like I said, he will be here via the new story event that's coming. And that is about it for him. Now, the new tech tapion that we are getting. Tech type key plus three HP attack and defense plus 70%. He lowers attack via his SA. Now his passive skill isn't actually half bad guys, at the beginning of the turn he buffs attack and defense by 80% and a medium chance, um, it's kind of the same gimmick as the trunks above, now we're gonna assume for right now that that's a chance for a critical hit, not too sure at the moment guys, we're waiting on more clarification for that, but that's just what I'm gonna take for this, and he also is an orb changer guys, he changes STR orbs to rainbow orbs, which is something, definitely keep that in mind guys, cause that can be very useful depending on how you plan to run this guy. We're kind of going to uh, skip over the other things because they're not really anything that I'm too worried about right now. What we want to get to right now, guys, is this man right here. First of all, let me say that this is some of the most beautiful art that I've seen in this game to date. When you see this card animated, guys, I dare you to send me a card with better graphics, better animation, just an overall more beautiful card, period. I dare you to send me one. You're not going to be able to. First of all. LR Goku, he kinda, he's kind of rocking the same gimmick as the um, LR Goten and Trunks, as the LR Bojack. A lot more hype behind him though. He is the Super Tech Key plus 4 HP attack and defense plus 100% guys. Extreme Tech Types Key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 70%. His link skills, I'm going to get those out of the way first before we talk about the SA and the passive skill. He is rocking Super Saiyan, Kamehameha. Experienced fighters, limit breaking form, shattering the limit, over in a flash, and legendary power. Uh, which is kind of interesting that he doesn't have fierce battle. Uh, well, we'll leave that one alone. I don't want to. I don't want to assume anything. But that's interesting that he doesn't have fierce battle. That is actually interesting, guys. I, mean, I wonder about that. Um, his passive skill at the beginning of the turn. Now this is where he gets ridiculous. His passive skill at the beginning of the turn buffs defense by 120%. Now, given his super attack, if you do hit his 18 key super, he buffs attack by 180% and debuffs defense by 70%. So, worst case scenario, he's getting a 50% buff to defense if you do hit the 18 key super, which still is great on top of that 180% attack boost, on top of an extra 170% attack boost if you're running him under the Super Saiyan 3 Barak, on top of another 170% attack boost if you're running him under double Super saying three bardos this guy is ridiculous this guy is ridiculous guys i i don't even know i don't even know i can't wait for somebody to pull him so we can see this man under double uh super saiyan 3 bardocks that's what i really want to see so i might have these mixed up it's kind of confusing right now guys but i'm gonna try to do the best i can now his 12 key super has a rare chance to stun um that's anything between 1 and 17 key 
and 18 key and above ha uh, has a chance to greatly lower defense not a chance but greatly lowers defense so like i said i might have those two mixed up correct me if i'm wrong down in the comment section below guys but like i said doing the best i can with what i have we'll know more as the day goes on as the week goes by but that is pretty much all I have for today. That's all I have to say about this new Super Saiyan 3. Uh, not Angel Goku, but LR Goku. Super excited, guys. Um, I myself, with everything that keeps coming to JP, with everything that keeps happening in the global, I'm kind of inching a little bit more towards uh, maining JP. Now, as you guys know, the only reason I haven't yet is because of all the money and time that I put into my global account. But if I could take all of that back and put it into JP, I definitely would. Um... I don't know if truth and david and scythe dark skin if all of those guys tell me to just start maining jp i'll probably go ahead and do it but it's i've just put so much into my global account guys i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know if you're new to the channel guys be sure you go down below and hit that red subscribe button it really helps me out a lot if you are new here and did enjoy what you saw even if you aren't new here and you come back and you continue to enjoy what you see be sure to hit that like button guys it's the easiest way to share the video around lets me know that you appreciate and you like what i'm doing on the channel be sure to go down in the comment section below let me know if you pulled this guy let me know if you pulled any other lrs off of the banner please 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 don't leave any lr vegeto blue comments down below um that is kind of like that that is really stressing me out right now guys i really don't want to hear anything about lr vegeto blue because i really don't care that much uh sorry to say but i hope everybody has a fantastic day this has been your boy tech and i will see you all in the next video peace